Hola. He's a beaut, Clark. Goodness, it's heavy too. Introducing our little pipe tracker here. Got a camera up this 24 inch main so we can figure out what's running off the pasture, or maybe even a house or whatnot, because we're getting ready to replace it. It's basically like a big RC car with a camera on it. And here's our cable that connects to it so we can see everything just right there it's a pretty cool contraption if I do say so myself but yeah and then we take our little lift point off and there's three dots that line up Get together like that. Gants are bad down here. Say hello. Oh. Now we gotta lift it down in. Set it in real nice. Like that. Then we got our plastic pipe. So that way our cable doesn't rub on that pipe too bad. Then we anchor it in with this flag here. That way it don't go nowhere. And then once he connects to the tracker, then it'll obviously, camera will raise up out of the water, flashlight will come on and he'll start driving forward into the pipe. So, should be pretty good. So then when we're ready, we gotta have our locator set to these settings. It should be able to read the head of the tracker. It should be right there, but it's not connected, so it won't obviously right now, but it will here in a little bit. Should be just like right there. So that's how we're gonna locate it. That way we know where we're at. And then when we find something, he's gonna call me, tell me to put a big white flag where we found something. So yeah. Making sure it works. This camera's wrapping all the way around, making sure you can see everything. We're ready to go. There it goes. We got a little tent going on in here. Oh, goodness. See? Block the sunlight. Got some roots. Yep. So we moved to a new spot because we went five feet and hit a, couldn't get past the roots hardly. So we're gonna try this spot. So we got it all back, back to how we want it. But if you can listen in, it sounds like a big old tile coming in down there. Just listen to it. But we're getting ready to find out what's down there. So here we go. Our pipe is just keeping that cord from rubbing against that clay and tearing it to pieces, so that's all that that's doing for us. Have you found anything yet? Yeah. Find something? You got a big old rock sitting right in the middle of the pipe. Probably looks like there's a suck hole up ahead and probably came from that. Great. Sounds like we gotta dig it up again then, so that's great. So now we're going flipped it around 
Now we're going this way. If you can. It's going pretty good. Oh, a little close. Look, must have went over something. Okay, well I'm gonna go find it with the locator now, so. When he's moving, you're gonna be able to see the arrows. See, when it's all four arrows in the same spot and that little circle's there, that means I found it. I'm right on top of him. So, right there I have to go forward a little. Yeah, he's scooting along. Yep, just found him. Found him again. We just gotta do, I just gotta follow him for about 600 feet because that's all that's on the spool. But, see there, I got ahead of him. Now I'm waiting for him to catch up. He passed me. Now I'm waiting for him to catch up again. Yep. So we just gotta keep doing this for 500 feet maybe through the pasture. So usually, Whenever we hit something or whatever, like a rock or a falling in top or whatnot, I'd find the uh, tracker and then he'd, I'd have him back up 10 feet or so and we'd dig that spot up. But since this, since we were in the horse pasture and we can't really get to the horse pasture, we're just gonna dig this suck hole up and go up both ways from here. We're upsizing this 24 inch main to 30 inch main here soon, so stay tuned for that video. Looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. We a ton of water. Quite a bit. Six inches or so. So much, it like, it'll even move these. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's a pretty big chunk. Yep. So now I just gotta run the camera up couple more times. Should be pretty good. Good to go. It goes pretty fast when it's a clean pipe and there's no objects in your way like a falling down top or a rock or anything like that. Got the little Rudy Rudies hanging down from the top. Rudy Roots. There's a top laying down in the pipe. So the pipe tractor actually flipped on its side, so now we got to try and find it without tearing it up, obviously. So we very carefully got to dig up the pipe and put a hole in it and get our, get our flip back over. So stay tuned. There's nothing like having to dig up a $50,000 camera. If it all goes well, we'll still have jobs at the end of the day, but if it doesn't, well, might see us on a street corner, we're not sure. So we found our pipe, and if you look down in there, you can see the fiber. So that means that we're, it's that way, so we gotta dig that way a little bit more. So we cut a little incision in our pipe, as you can see. We found it. Luckily it's plastic, so we can just cut the top off and flip her back over and keep going. So that's what we got to do. She wasn't all the way flipped over on her side, but she was to the point where she couldn't move no more. So. It's like a turtle upside down on this, except it was on its side. So now she can go again. What do you think? You need to cut another hole here and help me over the hump. Okay.
I want you guys to look at something with me. This is our last hole that we pulled the camera out of. As you can see, that is a 18 or 24 inch pipe. Look how high it is. And I'll try to keep the camera the same level so I spin around. Look how low that pipe is compared to this one. This other one. Like they're substantially maybe six or eight inches lower. Like the top must have just fallen in or something. It's the same size pipe. It is just so much smaller. That's why we are replacing it because that's basically neck down to 12 or 15 inch pipe. It's not good. We only found one tile. It's that big tall orange one all the way down there. Somewhere over there. It's a four inch coming off the wood side. But, yep, we're all, we're all done locating. Cameron, we, it's a good thing we're getting ready to replace it because it's, there's several bad sections in this pipe. So, catch you in a little bit. We got our pipe all cameraed and located. Now, all we're doing is looking for some AC jobs. For the folks at home, what's the quality of the pipe that we just cameraed? Well, it's got some ups and downs. There's a lot of seams and holes. There's a lot of tops where the pipe would collapse a little bit, and the top would fall in, and then just a lot of little rocks and stuff. So, just kind of, she's going bad, boys. Yep. So, toodles. Is it hot under there? Yeah. Poor guy. <laughs>